Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisa and I'm here now to take a look into 4th of July, July the 4th and July the 5th, 2024. Happy birthday to the sign of Cancer. Happy Independence Day for those of you that celebrate the energy, okay? All right, so I'm going to start right here with the Oracle of the Mermaids deck. This message right here is for all the signs. Everyone is welcome. My name is Tisa, by the way. And everything that you need to know about me will be down below in the description box. So I will be using three different decks here. And in here, I have some fortune cookies. And I add more and more of them in here. So I'm just going to kind of like spread them around a little bit. Right? Kind of shuffle them. Okay? And then I'll pick one whatever one that I get, okay? So let's go ahead now and turn it this way, completely this way, so I can't see it, you can't see it. And I will pull one out here. And this is the one I have. All right. So let's see what this one here says. It says, a sense of purpose is coming your way. Really nice, really nice. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's what it definitely do say. A sense of purpose is coming your way. All right, and that one on the back here, the numbers is 713, let me see that, 542, 11, and 44. So 713, 542, 11, and 44. And so I'm going to go like this, so hopefully you can see it, okay? But anyway, that is our fortune cookie today. A sense of purpose is coming our way. That's awesome. All right, so let's start right here with the Oracle of Mermaids. The sense of purpose that's coming our way could be, like I said in the other video I just now did, is that everything happens for a reason, right? Um, sometimes we experience different things in life. We may experience some really positive energies. We might experience some heartbreaks, but it's a purpose for everything, right? So let's see here what's the message here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Allow me here now to be the channel, please. Okay. And I'm going to get three cards from this back right here. Let's see for July the 4th. And July the 5th of 2024. So our overall message here is God. It says a God, a mentor, trustworthy. Okay. So maybe somebody here is a God that's trustworthy to you. Maybe you're the trustworthy God. Could be the case. Okay. And let's see what I have here. It says the mirror. Know thyself. Self-examination. Seeing who we really are. So it's good to look into the mirror next few days, okay? Vision, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing out of body travel right here. And then we have the crane bag, okay? Sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, and choice. And this one right here, I will look into the book when we get into there, but the other ones, I'm not going to look into the book for it, okay? So anyway, um, let's see right here. If we can get a card from this deck right here two okay so can you give me a card right here for the mirror please holy spirit holy angels okay something for the bill right away let me see what it was we have the sign of capricorn okay a capricorn right here okay what's the visions card right here the visions card okay and we have mega jackpot right here and then the crane bag was okay they flip it right out here for you it says beauty Nail design, makeup, lashes, hair, barbershop, massage. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, because you look at that, the top of the deck, I mean, 11, 11. Okay. All right. So I feel like a guy, you're a guy, you could be realizing that you're a guy or you're a mentor, or this could be somebody that is a guy or mentor to you. And 11, 11 is an activation number. I feel like some of you, you're going to realize this is you. I'm going to get right here. That you've been chosen right here. Okay, 1111. So you may realize that you've been chosen. I also just see 2021. So this could have been the year 2021, or this could be $2,021 or 2021 anything. Okay, so let's see what else we're going to get. Now, my tripod, it had broke, so that's the reason why it's like this. But I will be getting a new tripod. I already ordered it and everything like that. So I'll be coming soon. Okay, um... Okay, so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's the message here? 
for this man up. Know that self. Know that self. Self-examination right here, right? The sign of Capricorn. What's the message right here? Two of Cups right here. Two of Cups. A true love, a soulmate right here. Okay. Capricorn. So I feel like this Capricorn know that self right here. Something here could be mirrored to this Capricorn. Okay, or this is your lover, your lover's the Capricorn, or you're the Capricorn, okay? But this is about a true love, a soulmate right here, okay? So what's the message right here, please? The mirror card and the sign of Capricorn. Five of Swords is reversed. So I feel like it's really important for this Capricorn right here to really know their self right now in some type of way, okay? Um, if something here is mirrored to you, um, or like, let's say you get some type of intuitive message or notion. Okay. I feel like you really should be paying to your attention to your intuition right now. If this is a Capricorn, I'm getting right here, right? But it also could be your lover. It's a Capricorn. Okay. This even could be somebody doesn't want something to be over with you or you don't could be the case because nine of wands right here is holding on. Okay. And a five of swords reverse is not being defeated. So I feel like somebody really wants to hold on to you. Could be this Capricorn. Yeah, the star, Aquarius, okay? So I feel like this Aquarius really wants to hold on to this Capricorn, or the Capricorn wants to hold on to you. The star card is wish fulfillment. We have three of swords right here. So I feel like this Aquarius or this Capricorn or whoever, I mean, um, whoever it could be, right? And it could be anywhere in their chart, too. Let's say somebody here is um, a Pisces, but they have Capricorn in their chart. So that could be the case here. So that could go like that too. But somebody's heartbroken, I'm getting right here. Because they did want to hold on to you. You're the one they wanted. Somebody even could have had the hope for this, I feel. They, you don't wish fulfillment, I feel. So I feel like they didn't want to be defeated by you in some type of way. But I feel like they're here with the mirror. It's like you know yourself. It's something about you knowing yourself is being mirrored to them in some type of way. It's like you know yourself. You do self-examination or look at your own self in the mirror and examine yourself in some way. Get like your face, your body, everything. Some way. Okay. Okay. There's a message right here. I feel like you know yourself in some way. Yeah, the nine of pentacles right here reverse. If something here is not stable in some type of way, then it's not. Okay. Um... Or like, you know what you want in a relationship could be the case too. Because this card reverse could be a relationship. So like, you know what you want in a relationship. Yeah, it's like when you look at yourself, you look at yourself in the mirror, you like, you know what, am I good in this relationship or not? I feel like you look at yourself and you know that right here. Right? Clarity and truth. Okay? And this mirror also could be, um, I'm getting like, you know, the mirror, the, the mirror in the bathroom. I'm not sure. Something like that could be significant. Just type away. Okay, what's the message here? There could be some truth about a mirror in a bathroom. Something like that right here. Yeah, five of pentacles right here. And a judgment. Yeah, so I feel like you made a choice right here to leave something out in the, in the cold in some type of way. Okay, I feel like you did right here. These two is making a choice, a judgment right here to leave something out in the cold in some way. Could be a house, could be anything right here, okay? Um, a, a relationship or something. I feel like your inner strength is real strong. When you make a judgment about something, you really do mean that, I feel. And I do feel like with the Ace of Swords, maybe some truth was here, reason why you're making some judgment. Or like, this is your truth. I feel like you stand for your truth. This Capricorn do or this Aquarius or whoever else do. Okay, somebody here stands for their truth, what they want in a relationship, what they want concerning finances and money, um, something here about a mirror in the bathroom or a mirror in general is significant in some way, right? I feel like you're very psychic, and that's a mega jackpot right here, I feel, right? The fact that you're psychic, I'm getting like, the most important jackpot you can have is your intuition, Okay. So, psychic images right here, clairvoyance, seeing, and out-of-body travel. That's the mega jackpot right here. The fact that you have some vision. What's this mega jackpot right here, please? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, there's something here is not good news. Page of Wands of Verse is not good news. So, I feel like you have vision, something here is not good news. For some people right here. Yeah, it could be about being a wife. Um, could be, could be about money or something like that right here. Okay. This could be about money. Something here. Mm 
you have three of cups right here could be a third party maybe somebody wants to reconcile with you okay Yeah, nine of swords right here. So reverse right here. So nine of swords reverse is coming out of some anxiety, coming out of stressing, coming out of worrying in some type of way, right? Um, so I kind of feel like somebody wants to reconcile right here with you. Okay. But is it good news? Page of Wands reverse. Is there good news to reconcile with somebody here? So get What's the message right here, please? Okay, yeah, the devil card. I'm getting a Capricorn. This is a Capricorn right here, okay? The tower. This Capricorn is having a tower moment, or you are. Somebody here to have Capricorn in their chart somewhere. Okay, right now. I'm getting somebody here that has Capricorn in their chart somewhere right here. It's who we definitely talking to, I feel, right now. Yeah. This is a message for all the signs, but I'm getting Capricorn right here, okay? And this card right here is also Capricorn. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. So a tower moment, a revelation, understanding. If something here is good news in some way, okay? I feel like the mere fact right here that you skilled, that you mastered something right here through your intuition is justice for you. Yeah, justice is served for you or something like that, I feel. And this, this, the devil card even could represent some people. It could be a toxic relationship or it could be right here, these two right mega jackpot right here maybe you want money right yeah it could be or somebody see you as a lottery ticket this capricorn hmm. yeah i feel like right here let's say you even knew that because psychic images is right here visions you knew somebody was seeing you as the lottery ticket in some way. You knew that. You can come out of anxiety. It's not good news that you're psychic. So get right here. It's a tower. Okay? It's not good news right here to affect that you're psychic. Come on out of anxiety right here. Something that somebody was thinking they was doing to do in some type of way. It's not good news that you get visions and you're psychic. I'm getting right here. Yeah. Because the devil's here. So I'm not sure what they were trying to do. Okay. Yeah. This could be a merge with the high form right here, reverse. Yeah. Yeah, or religion, or somebody didn't want to break up with you. Could be the case. Somebody didn't want to break up with you because they seen you as the mega jackpot financially or something like that right here. Somebody thought they could come out anxiety right here financially through you. I'm getting right here. And the how of front right here reverse, maybe you're not married to them or, you know, something like that. Why is the how of front reverse? Or this is a breakup or something like that. Yeah, yeah, eight of swords. Somebody here is restricted in some type of way. Yeah, but see, I feel like right here, right, somebody here is restricted in some type of way. Could be a part of marriage, could be a religion um, with the how of front right there. Even could be higher wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, maybe somebody here is restricted because they don't have visions. They don't have knowledge that you be having or something like that. Or psychic images or something like that. They don't, I feel. Okay. And this mirror energy either could be um, scrying. Somebody could be scrying some people here. Yeah, somebody definitely seen money. I feel like a relationship here for money. So this beauty card right here, and it says nail design, makeup, lashes, beauty, massage, hair, and barbershop right here. So I feel like you're really, really beautiful, for real, okay? And then I got this crane bag, and this is the one I told you I'm going to read out the book, right? But it says right here, sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, and choice right here. So let's take a look real quick into this one right here, which is 35. Okay, the crane bag. What is that saying right here from the mermaids? The crane bag. It is a core bog. The cream bag is a core bog. Okay, it's the cream bag. It's a safe, sacred ocean medicine bag that holds and protects items that have been bonded with your own energy. 
that symbolize your very essence and from which energy can be redrawn or deposited when needed. Now with this card, we mermaids wish to tell you of its origin. The first sacred pouch came from the sea and was made by the sea god. Let me see if I can say that name here. Mananin Maclur. Okay. From beautiful crane who had once been a human woman he loved. Oif, within the first crane bag, Mananan kept safe great treasures. And from this bag, many blessings poured forth. To this day, the crane bag continues to offer the healing gifts of arts, music, solace, and love to us. Symbolically, it is a bag that contains the needs of the soul, and it was fashioned out of lasting love. It may have a keeper, yet it belonged to no one. And we sing to you of this bag now, and your soul is not being reflected in these things you have in your strange bags. We wish you to examine this and consider what you keep, what is treasure to you, and how long it ought to stay with you. Every crane bag has its own unique personality, energy, and relationship to its keeper. They hold everything and nothing, inspiration, knowledge, and wisdom. They come to us and they leave us, and they are refound again. In the legends, they pass through the hands of many gods. The tradition extends way beyond the shores of the sea, kingdom of Britain. Think of this medicine bag, the sacred pouches of the Mayan and Incan people, the deer skin pouches of Lakota, even the super expensive handbags of the fashion conscious are in a sense their medicine bag, their cream bag holding portions of their soul and what they believe their soul to be. Wow. So I feel like you're a really beautiful soul. Yeah. This one right here, beauty, you're a really beautiful soul. I feel like you know, like I said, like the, like I just said, you know what to keep and what to let go of. It says declutter. Sometimes we know what to declutter. Okay. This is sacred ocean medicine. They also just say right here. So maybe certain things you used for medicine before, you may not use those anymore. You could use something else, perhaps could be the case too. Um, I'm not a doctor, of course, I have to say that, you know, I'm not a doctor, so you had to speak to your doctor, but sacred ocean medicine right here could definitely be looking at some type of medicine you was using and then decluttering right here. Maybe you don't use that anymore, okay? What's the message here, please? This crane bag of beauty. Even could be some knowledge right here about being very beautiful. Your beauty right here is going to shine. I feel like somebody's going to love to see you and look at you. Yeah, justice right here. And this um, page of swords, somebody's going to spy on you. I feel like just looking at you is just like, wow, I feel like you look really beautiful. Okay, even here, I feel like you really do. Okay, what's the message right here, please? This um, crane bag. Look at that. Queen of swords is reversed. Wow. Somebody likes looking at you, but the queen of swords reversed. Hmm. Here's what I'm going to get right here, okay? Queen of Swords of Earth. Maybe somebody broke your heart before. Could be the case. Don't let it allow you to be bitter in some way. Don't, okay? What's the Queen of Swords of Earth? Yeah, the full part reverse. Hesitant and stagnating right here, okay? Yeah. Somebody's going to want to, somebody can't help themselves. They're going to look at you. You're beautiful. Even a sacred ocean medicine, you might even heal in some type of way. I feel like your beauty is going to come back like strong or something. All right. But I feel like right here, somebody here, they're not going to come close. They're just going to look at you for some of you though, right? Because the queen of swords are verse and the fool is reverse. Yeah, ten of swords right here. Yeah. Some of you, I'm also getting the crane bag, is knowledge. It also could be knowledge right here. How to stop something could be the case too. It's the type of way. It's the end of a difficult time. Stop it could be the case. Some way, whether that's medicine, whether that's beauty, 
Um, in many ways it could be, right? Okay, so see here. You see if I want some conflict right here, right? Somebody even going to look at you and be like, Dag, that was needless drama. Here's another thing it could be. Somebody could have just looked at you and judged you wrong. Could have been it too. Queen of Swords reverse. It's going to be hell to pay for judging you wrong in some way. Um, so you got to get to know somebody before you just look at them and make a judgment or something like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, something right here, they're going to want to be with you in the future. Somebody knows that. They're going to want to be with you in the future. Somebody going to be spying on you, looking at you. I feel like you'll be so beautiful right here. What's the Queen of Swords reverse? Yeah, I'm getting, um, it could be a divine masculine. It could be an Aries, a boss at work or a father. Something like that. Okay. But I'm getting like, your beauty stands out. I'm getting like, definitely. All right, so 11, 11. Yeah, it could be a twin flame because I do have the Empress and the Emperor right here. All right, so these two right here could be twin flames. Right. And then this one right here is also could be twin flames. Okay, so it says God right here. So I feel like your twin flame is a God. Right? Let's see what it says right here. It says a guy, a mentor, trustworthy ally. Okay. What's what's the message here? Okay. This is um the God in eleven eleven. I feel like you're guided. Your your twin flame is guided or you're guided. Yeah, somebody's gonna see you so beautiful, I feel right here. Yeah, the death card right here. Could be a Scorpio right here. This also could represent something's ending. Okay. Yeah, that could represent transformation, changes, endings. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, four pentacles right here. So I feel like somebody wants to hold on to you. Could be a Scorpio. Something here could be awakening about a twin flame or something like that. Yeah, four swords right here. All right, now these two fours make me feel like you're definitely protected and you're paying attention though. Yeah. Some of you, you're paying attention right here. The 1111 don't have to be a twin flame. It just could be an activation number. Maybe you're activated. You know right here to end something and to hold back from somebody or something like that. It could be it. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune is fate and destiny in a relationship right here. Any last message right here, please? Yeah, the Queen of Wands right here and the um, Two of Swords right here. Yeah, somebody wants you to open up to them, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and these fours, you're going to pay attention if that's what you want to do or not. I feel like for some of you, it's a twin flame. All this right here, it is activation number or it's a number right here about love or Gemini. Okay. I feel like you have a lot, a lot of wisdom and knowledge, I feel. Somebody might even want you to open up while they was lost in right here. Or they want you to open up quickly right here to something right here. Step away like impulsively. That's not going to work. 1111 is activation. And these fours, you're protected. So you pay attention right here. Yeah, another four right here. Four, four, four. You paying attention. You're protected. I'm getting right here. Somebody could be very possessive and controlling. Maybe you realize that just through your intuition, somebody's possessive and controlling. And maybe you know to hold back from them because it could be more that meets the eye to somebody right here. Okay. To a twin flame or somebody right here. But I do feel like somebody here is blocking their energy. Yeah, I feel. It's time to move on. Somebody knows that. They, they've been activated. It's time to move on. Hmm? Could be a twin flame or whoever else it could be. Okay, yeah. This is what I have here, okay? Thank you so much. And I send you all peace, blessings, love, and lights. I feel like if you move on, somebody's going to be regret because you didn't wish fulfilling. And you're beautiful. Yeah. Namaste to you.